What's going on YouTube? This is DBrick748 coming back at you guys with a different style of video. Today is August 21st, 2016 and I am right now in the middle of cleaning up my displays. So uh, I'm putting away some old stuff, bringing out some new stuff, rearranging my detoffs, um, cleaning up all the boxes that I have. Uh, cleaning up my Megazords and whatnot. So yeah, it's been a very very tiring day to say the least Because I've been at this since 1 o'clock and of course I took breaks in between but it's now 1124 p.m. So it's been a very very long day and I'm sure if you have figures and you are a collector yourself you know how messy it gets and when you want to redo some of your detoffs your creativity kicks into place or kicks in gear and uh, yeah it's it's a long process so yeah just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to so unfortunately this figure from Revel Tech broke on me just today really sucks but whatever uh, I have my Revel Tech turtles right there I have the Dragon Zord I cleaned this and um, the White Tiger Zord so it looks pretty awesome right now I have my Madoka Magica stuff I took those out because I am actually going to be putting those away now and kinda making space for some newer items uh, my Super Smash Brothers display, not going anywhere. I am in the process of putting them in right here. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out the layout and I was waiting for certain items to come in. So yeah, that's what I've been doing there. My Kantai Collection girls, love it. Uh, I am not putting them away. They are actually going to be going right in here. But I have to kind of figure out the layout because I still have these three girls that I want to put in. Now, got this in from Amazon today with some other awesome goodies that I'm going to show off in a little bit. Um, yeah, this was recommended by Bruno from MMPR Toys. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, uh, link will be provided down below. He is an awesome Power Rangers collector, fan, you name it. He does everything, stop motions, animations with Power Rangers figures and he's pretty freaking awesome so yeah I'll go check him out but he recommended that to get some of the scratches and stuff like that out of your Megazords so unfortunately my green my Dragon Zord not my green Zord my <laughs> Dragon Zord he fell off the shelf um, because of my son and uh, he had a little bit of scratching so I'm going to use that and hopefully it will take care of the scratches. Now, I want to showcase this and see if anyone can help me out. This is the Legacy Megazord. Now, you might be thinking, actually let me explain what's going on with this figure. So this figure is in pristine condition. It is placed or it has been placed um, in an area where there's no sunlight whatsoever. If you want to take a look at the setup of my room, here's the window and that's the only window. So as you guys can clearly see, this is how my room is set up. Now it's not a square, it's not a rectangle, I don't know what it is, but this is the only area that sunlight can come in from. But first thing is first there's a giant tree right in front of my house so no direct sunlight comes in there's the shades right here and then we have these blinds so we cover that up throughout the day and no sunlight gets in here it's pitch black now with that being said I have my megazords all the way in this corner right there no sunlight ever touches this uh, or those figures however this figure in particular, it's really weird. I think some other people have called it Cosmic Rust. The die cast parts, as you can clearly see, it's, I don't know, it's like, it's very foggy. And the texture is really weird. 
and it looks like it's changing colors. It's like a rose gold now instead of the silver that it should be for the die cast. Uh, I'm not sure if any other collectors have gone through the same problem. And it's weird because it's only this figure. My Dragon Zord and my White Tiger Zord, the die cast parts are perfectly fine. So yeah, if the, you guys know how I can fix this, like that would be much greatly appreciated. Like look at the legs for example, like this piece. You can clearly tell there's some funky, I don't know, changing of the colors going on. So. If any of you guys know how to fix that, I would love to hear it because I really have no idea why it's doing that. I keep my figures in pristine uh, condition, or try to at least. I brush it off, I use the air dust thing to, can of air I should say, to dust my figures. I use a, like a, this cloth right here this cloth right here to take off any of the other I guess debris that falls on this figure so yeah if you guys can help me out I want to make this figure pop again but these die cast pieces just look hideous alright so real quickly what am I planning to do with my displays so up top here I originally had my Justice League Play Arts Kai figures but because Play Arts Kai is no longer pumping out the Justice League team and it's just pumping out like all these different Batmans and movie figures and whatnot. I just stopped collecting them. Honestly, for the price point, it's not worth it anymore. So I have them all packaged, packaged away. I might be selling these, I might not. I might just put them in storage and maybe bring them out again later on because they are such amazing looking figures. But who knows, that's that. In here, I have all of my Dragon Ball Z figures, or boxes I should say. Over there, I have a lot of my Figma stuff, so I've been going through and rummaging through all of my figures and trying to see what I want to put in here. So I definitely want to devote two, I guess, units for my Star Wars, the Sith and the Jedi, each in one. I have my DC Icons figures right here. I definitely need to catch up because Superman I definitely want, and the other, like Aquaman and that wave I definitely want to get them so that's that my Kantai collection girls are going in here Dragon Ball Z Super Smash all that stuff now the Megazords I plan on putting up here and they're gonna be in these nice acrylic boxes and within those boxes it's gonna have the Megazord and then the SH figure arts versions of the members of that team so we're gonna start off with the Dino Megazord here Dragon Zord, White Tiger, and Falcon, and then the Thunder Megazord, and whatnot. So, that's that. Now, I guess I'll do this right now. Here we go. A quick little haul video. I was able to snag myself a Mewtwo from the Tomy line for Pokemon. And this is articulated, as you guys can see, and it fits very, very well into scale with all of the World of Nintendo and all of those other guys. So yeah, he is a newer figure, and I picked this off, picked this item from eBay, or not eBay, Amazon. It was 19 It was under $20, that's for sure. If you have Amazon Prime, it's free shipping, so that's pretty cool. Then the next Pokemon figure I got is Charizard X. Now the reason why I picked this one up is because if you've watched my room tour video, my Super Smash Brothers display, I've had this Charizard Y figure uh, kind of sitting in place for the D-Arts Charizard, which I was really hoping for, but never got a chance to pick up, and now it's a ridiculous price, and even the re-release version of it is like $130 to $150, so uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be picking that up because it's really expensive, but nonetheless, I needed a Charizard figure, so I went with this one. This one was $14, and if you haven't played Super Smash, Charizard, his special move, he turns into Charizard X. So I was like, you know what? This is good enough. So there you have it. 
All right, and then these two figures, you guys saw this one during my latest haul. And this one I had for some time now, and I showcased this, uh, I guess, in a different haul. But I'm going to be displaying these guys as well, so super excited about that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a lot of work to do. It's now 11.33, so yep, gotta get back to work. Thanks for watching. If I have other updates for this video, I'll put it in towards the end. But if not, I guess this is it. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Daybreak on 48. I'm signing out. Peace. All right, guys, and welcome back. This is part two of my vlog video. And yeah, as you guys can clearly see, I am no longer in my room. I finished that yesterday night, and now I am upstairs in my office space. And uh, as you guys can clearly see, this place is a heap of a mess. I mean, wow, there's figures all over the place. Uh, there's so much crap that I have to clean up organize and you name it it's just it's just stockpiling so i have this day to myself because my lovely wife decided to take Jaden, my son out to the playground so i have a couple of hours to do some vlogging and some cleaning so yeah that's what i am going to be doing up here now guys real quickly i want to just take this time to give you guys a little update of what you're going to see on my channel and it's the following so here we go hopefully you guys can see that let me just go to my channel real quickly so my channel here we go now this is what you guys see as soon as you get to my channel now with that being said if you take a look at the banner and you take a look at the last I guess uh, I don't know what you call this, this icon, it's actually a link to my cell page. I created a blog and this is where I'm going to be posting everything that I have currently up for sale. Now, don't get me wrong guys, some of you guys might be thinking, oh no, Daybreak's quitting. No, no, no. Guys, uh, just as you guys probably know or will know very, very soon, if you do this whole figure collecting, sometimes... Uh, you do some impulse buys or other times you purchase figures, but you just don't have the t space to display it and uh, Oftentimes they get put back into their box and they're just kind of left in the closet to just Yeah, never be seen again and I really don't like that and especially with my situation right now with my son and me not having an actual space for me to kind of store all of this uh, there's no point of me holding on to a figure which I know I will not be able to display or yeah any of that so might as well send it off to someone who will love it and who will display it so I am actually in the process of creating that blog and I'm going to be updating it quite often now you're gonna find some items there that are still mint on card but most of the items there obviously i've reviewed and that's that but guys don't worry it comes from an, an adult collector um i am very meticulous when it comes to my figure so yeah uh, it should be okay so if you guys see anything on that blog and you really want it hey hit me up i'm only accepting paypal at this point in time and uh, yeah i'm only shipping in the u.s right now because shipping out to other countries it's kind of expensive and right now financially i don't have that kind of money so with that said that is one thing i'm working on currently and as you guys can clearly see these are some of the items that i will have for sale so the Attack on Titan cast, I have the uh, Mako Nendroid, some DC icons that I'm not displaying, um, other things like the San Diego Comic Con, o San Diego Comic Con Obi Wan Kenobi exclusive. Um, I kind of need the money because I have so many pre-order items coming in and I felt like this is the one figure that I don't mind giving up so I am putting it up there for sale and I will be posting this on my eBay store as well uh, I'm just posting it here so that you guys can clearly see it first so you get first dibs if anything 
All right, the other thing that I wanted to talk about real quickly within this video is the fact that I'm going to be kind of shifting gears and updating my channel a little bit. And I wanted to kind of slow you guys into this because um, I know I've been gone for so long and I've been very consistent for two months now. And I know two months is not a lot of time when in the grand scheme of things, but I wanted to show you that I am committed I wanted to show you that I am back and so this is what's going to be happening on this channel. Toy reviews, I want to do at least once, one per week, minimum. So you might see one, you might see two, you might see three, whatever. Uh, I want to do a discussion video, a very short one like I did earlier, maybe once a week, maybe, um, yeah, we'll talk about it. But that I want to do once a week. I also want to incorporate some of the card games that I really love and enjoy at this point in time. You guys know I have been a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! But after, yeah, uh, I got married and I sold off my collection, it was very difficult for me to get back into it. So uh, I decided to switch gears and try a different card game and it's called Vise Shorts. Now look at how beautiful this card looks. But anyways, yeah, uh, I've really fallen in love with this card game. So if you guys play this card game as well, you like to trade, you like to talk about it, hey, I'll have a video once in a while um, when there's like a new booster pack coming out or whatever, I will do a video on that. So that, those are my three things that I am going to be doing consistently on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoy and that's pretty much it. Now, that was six minutes of my life gone and uh, so I need to go back to, or get back to work with the cleaning and organizing. So real quickly, before I call it a day, I am going to do a little haul video one item I got in particular and then uh, I'll let you guys go so be back in a few alright guys and to finish off this vlog video I want to showcase my one last haul that I got this past week and it is from the awesome folks at Amazon Prime love their service and I have the box open already so let's just dig right in so, as you guys know, uh, from the earlier part of my haul, or my vlog video, I picked up the Mewtwo figure from this Tomy Pokemon series. Now, as a huge fan of Super Smash Brothers, uh, I was super excited to see Greninja as one of the newest members of that lineup. And so, obviously, as a collector of all Super Smash Brothers related items, I had to pick this one up because of the articulation and just how good it looks. Now, I will be doing a review of these guys and I will be posting it uh, probably later today or tomorrow so you will see it very very soon I'll probably do both Mewtwo and Greninja all in one so you will be able to see it all together so that's it guys thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to just stop by and watch this video you guys are the best please rate comment and subscribe until next time this is Daybreak 748 I'm signing out peace out guys